Hello, hello. Wow, I said that weirdly. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. It is time to update my beauty bank. Um, if you're new to my channel, first of all, I'm so glad that you are here. And if you are confused and you're like, what is a beauty bank? This is my version of a low buy. I give myself points to spend towards beauty products. I lose a point when I buy something, but I also gain points back when I use things up. This way I keep myself from buying too many things at once, too many things at once. <laughs> and it seems to be working for me. I started off the year with 35 points and I started the month of April with 32 and a half. I say half because I do give myself half a point whenever I hit pan on eyeshadow. So occasionally I do end up with an extra half point here or there. The tea of the day is one I got in my Sips by box. It's called the Eerie Cup or the Eyrie Cup. Cup. I am not sure, but this is a Japanese sencha, which I know I like sencha tea. Sencha is very green, which I know that it kind of sounds silly because green tea tastes green always. But there's something about sencha, it takes ex extra grass-like maybe, but not just grass-like. It has that extra kind of umami thing to it that is so wonderful. Mm, this is a good one. I am enjoying that. Okay, let's get into, first of all, my purchases. Then I'll tell you the things that I used up in the month of April. And then I'll talk you, to you about some of the things that I managed to talk myself out of this month using the whole point concept. <laughs> I always manage to talk myself out of some things, which makes me happy. Okay, starting with the things I purchased. Oh wait, no, actually, let's start with some gifts. I always, if I do get PR or gifts, I like to share those at the beginning. I do not get um, PR very often, but I did get some this month. Stylevana reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some K-Beauty sunscreens. I was like, oh yes. I love trying out new sunscreen. I don't know why. I do not know why. And most skincare categories I don't include in like my beauty points just because I don't typically overspend in those categories. But when it comes to sunscreen, for some reason, I want to try all the things. So I do include sunscreen in like my beauty bank project. But anyway, these are the five sunscreens that they sent me. They sent me one from Derma B. This is the everyday sunblock. I'm assuming it's everyday. Part of it's blocked out there, so I can't really see what it says. And then we have one from Make Prim. You can see that. This is the Light and Refreshing Sun Essence with Full Moisture SPF 50. This one's also SPF 50. This one from Axis Y. This is the Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. This one from Frutia. This is the Ultra UV Shield Sun Essence. And then this one from the Farm Stay Oil Free UV Defense Sun Cream, also SPF 50. I was so thankful, I was so excited that they sent me five K-Beauty sunscreens. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, three of the five of these have niacinamide in them. Um, these three have niacinamide. These two I can use, the one from Derma B and the one from Make Prem, but unfortunately these three, the Frutia, the Farm Stay, and the Axis Y will make me break out. I, I, I seem to be sensitive to niacinamide. So that while it did make me sad, I also was instantly like, I can give those away to a subscriber. So if you are a K-beauty lover, if you love to try out sunscreens, feel free to enter this very random giveaway in the comment section. Um, leave a comment, including a sun emoji. I don't care which sun emoji. I know there's more than one. If you still want to comment but don't want to be entered, just um, go ahead and leave out the sun emoji. Anyway, I'm really excited to share these three sunscreens with someone. Okay, so that was the PR this month, but I also got given a gift, a palette. This, <laughs> look at this llama palette that my friend gave me. She found this at TJ Maxx. I mean, of course she thought of me. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> So I have not tried this on my eyes or anything. I haven't even swatched it. The second she showed it to me, I knew that I was gonna be putting it up on my little makeup shelf. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but it is a really pretty color story, isn't it? I really should try it out and see how the actual formula is. This is from that brand Beauty Concepts, which I've only ever seen at TJ Maxx and I don't really know anything about them. Anyway, thank you so much to my friend for this cute little llama palette. Okay, let's talk about the things that I purchased. So there was the Sephora VIB sale. I only picked up a few things. I tend not to go too crazy. I picked up this single shadow. This is the, uh, what do they call this? The colorful metal effect. And I have the shade Shock Chalk, which I'm not gonna be giving like reviews of everything in this video. I do have speed reviews for things, which I haven't 
uh, put this in a speed review video yet, but some of the other stuff I have. So if I have reviewed it, I'll link it in the description box. So anyway, that was one point gone. I also picked up two blushes in the sale, the Natasha Denona Puff Paint in the shade Daria, right there. And then the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in the shade Bread and Butter, which looks like that. So those two blushes, that was minus two points from my beauty bank. And I really should not wander Walmart <laughs> looking, but I couldn't, I, I was, I was wandering my Walmart and I found a new blush from Profusion that really caught my attention. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush. And I have mine in the shade Rosé, which in my mind, it's much more peachy than rose, <laughs> but that's the color right there. That was minus another point. So that was all I was gonna do, but I totally, before I knew I was getting that package of sunscreens, you guys, <laughs> I went and I bought two new sunscreens. It's that time of year, I, I have this itch to try new ones. <laughs> so first off, this one from Cetaphil, this is the Sheer Mineral Sunscreen, the Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I have a hard time finding mineral sunscreens that I like, so I, I'm kind of a little bit on the hunt. I really wanna find one that works for me. This one, I think it does sheer out. Uh, I don't know how that would look on deep skin, to be honest. It looks okay on me right there. And then also this one from Eucerin. This is the Age Defense SPF 50. What am I doing swatching sunscreen? I don't know. I just want to show you how it looks, I guess. That one is not a mineral sunscreen. That's a chemical sunscreen. I think so. So no white cast with that one. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to trying these. But that was another two points gone from my beauty bank, which leaves me with 26 and a half points. Oh, I didn't mention, I don't count gifts in PR as part of my beauty bank because, you know, I didn't pick them up myself. Okay, moving on. Now that I've showed you the things that came into my collection, let's talk about the items that I finished. So I finished off two mascaras, this little mini from Clarins, also the full-size Lash Princess mascara, so that gave me two points back. I also finished off two lip products. This one, the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss, and this Trust Fund Beauty Better Than Therapy lip oil. So this, again, two more points back into my beauty bank. I also did hit a pan, yay, in the month of April. I hit pan on this shade called Spring in my cargo uh, Tokyo and Bloom palette. So that gives me four and a half points back into my collection, all those things together, which means I'm ending the month at 31 points. I'm still really pleased, pleased with that number, really happy. When I started off the year with 35 points, I did not expect myself to do this well. So yeah, again, very, very pleased. Um, some of the things I almost bought this month, and there was quite a number if I'm remembering correctly, specifically in the Sephora VIB, VIB sale, there were more blushes that I wanted. Like I always want all the blushes. Like it's just really hard for me to talk myself out of all the blushes. The two that were especially calling my name, I didn't quite, and I didn't pick them up. I probably will at some point, but not this month. The one from Rose Inc. and uh, the Huda Beauty new stick uh, blush. And I am very, very, very pleased that I was able to talk myself out of lip products this month. I'm always, again, I'm kind of the same with lip products as I am with blushes. I want to try all the new formulas. I want to try the different colors. Milani has a new lip oil out that looks super, super cute. Colourpop had some sales this month. They had a, pro a sale on all their lip products, actually. And I do really want to try their glowy lip product. I can't remember what it's called, but something about glowy lips. Anyway, that's been on my list for quite a while to try, but I managed not to pick one up this month. Oh, and another blush. The ColourPop Heart Blushes came back in stock. Oh, I actually have mine right here. This is the shade that I have. I have the shade My Type. This one, for some reason, doesn't come back in stock, but they have several other colors that come out, or came out, I should say, and I, they're so cute. There's something about the matte, very soft matte uh, packaging. It just kills me. I love them. I really want the white one. <laughs> but again, I managed to talk myself out of buying more of those because I didn't need it. They seem to be popular enough that they continue to restock them. So I probably will eventually get another one unless I can completely talk myself out of them, which would be a major win. So despite bringing products into my collection this month, I am quite happy with where I ended up with my beauty bank number. Remember, if you want to enter the giveaway, include that sun emoji in your comment. And if you do enter, pay attention to see if I reply to your comment and tell you if you won. I'm gonna leave the giveaway open for a week. When that week is up, just make sure and pay attention to your notifications because I will be leaving a comment on your 
comment <laughs> and asking you to uh, give me your Instagram handle so that I can send you a message and I can get your address. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.